Hello and welcome back to another lesson uh, with Mrs. C. <laughs> um, <clears throat> today I want to uh, talk very briefly about the free draw value and contrast project that you will be doing in class. Um, this is going to be based off the two worksheets that we have just completed, the value and the contrast worksheets. Um, one thing that um, that we're going to be looking at is uh, ideas, you know, how to um, approach doing this particular project. So I'm going to start out with what not to do, because I feel uh, that it, it's important to know what doesn't look good. And here's an example that I found on the internet um, as a matter of fact it was on Pinterest um, this particular one uh, is is okay uh, as a beginning point type of uh, drawing however what doesn't work are these very heavy very um, very outline-ish type of lines that you see around the objects. These lines right here are just not working out. Let me see why my pencil is not working. Let me get the right pencil. So these lines that you see here all over the place, these are not what I want you to keep in your drawings. There are areas where things are happening the way they should be and that would be right here that would be right here um, it would be right in this section and what you'll notice is that the contrast between this particular rectangle and this shape behind it is um, established not through an outline but through a uh, value difference so this is something that uh, I need you to keep in mind as you are working on your project. Um, and so what, what should your project look like? Here's a really great example of what it should look like. So um, notice that there is no outline. Uh, to be seen. Um, the, the edges are defined by the value that you see on each one of these uh, planes. Um, you see uh, beautiful overlapping, you see kind of, you know like something that has depth um, and even though it's not perfectly shaded uh, it still looks really good for a beginning art project. Another example is this one right here. I really like this one. Um, oops. I really like this one because um, because it it is a very simple drawing. Um, it is not complex at all. The only thing that makes it that makes it complex is literally the sh the shading. So what you see here is a very simple drawing that includes the lighthouse. Okay, so there's the lighthouse. Um, there is a sun. There is a horizon line right here. Maybe I should change the color to like red so you guys can actually see what I'm what I'm doing here. So there is the the horizon line over there, and there is a sailboat right here. There's also uh, an indication of some kind of a rock formation, but there isn't, there isn't anything uh, very complicated about this. The thing that really makes this really interesting and really beautiful is, um, is the way that the sun rays have been um, introduced as delineations between various uh, value changes in this particular drawing and this is what makes this whole entire drawing look really really awesome also notice that there's no outlining anywhere to be found there's absolutely none whatsoever everything is defined by the value changes that you see in there 
Uh, another、um, image that I absolutely love is this one right here. It's abstract. It's simple. There's nothing、uh, that you know a beginning art students cannot do.、Um, I imagine that this was started out with just some simple doodles here and there, you know, and then.、Uh, And then maybe there was some stuff that was erased just to bring more interest to various、uh, shapes that were formed by those doodles. And then the shading. The shading is what makes this whole entire、um, artwork very powerful and very, very、uh, unique and just, just beautiful. I absolutely love this piece.、Um, another piece that I absolutely love is this one right here. Once again, there's nothing really、um, complex about this drawing. The only thing that, that is making this drawing look really, really beautiful is the value changes.、Uh, the, 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 that whole entire dynamic between the lights and the darks is what makes this、uh, artwork really intense, really interesting. I also love、uh, things like this.、Um, these.、Um, Points of, of、um, tension, I sort of say.、Uh, I don't usually do this in my own work、uh, because I, 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 I don't do tension in my work. I usually focus on things, and I will show you an example of,、uh, of some drawings that, that I have here to show you. I usually go for the curves and the、um, Organic, but this over here I really love. I, I really like these very strong, powerful、uh, lines that are happening in the drawing. And of course, of course, the shading is totally on point, i s really, really, really great. And it's nothing that people cannot draw. I mean, you could just grab a ruler and, and just make some straight lines and a few curves and get on to the shading, and you can do this. For sure.、Uh, this、uh, other drawing that I have here, this one is more an example of what you can do with texture rather than with、um, shading per se. So,、uh, if you feel uncomfortable with the smooth transition between various um, um, shapes that you have there, you can definitely do something like this. Where you are、uh, creating value through the way that you are、um, shading. So, as we were doing in our value worksheet, the various types of shading the stippling, the hatching, the cross hatching, the swirls, and all of that、uh, you can certainly do something like this as well. Notice once again that there are no outlines. So, if you look very closely, you will not see a single line anywhere. Maybe, maybe you will see something over here, but it's not, it's not so obvious that I cannot deal with that. And then there's one over here. I could probably, you know,、uh, focus more on the value rather than that, that hard outline. But in general, this drawing is a very, very good example of something that you could do and you could get very beautiful results in the end. And simple to draw, nothing special. It's just a bunch of straight lines, and that's about it. And then it's shading. Now, let's say that you are just completely out of any ideas of what to do. What do you see over here? This is your typical coloring book page that you could probably steal from your younger siblings or、uh, the kids <laughs> at, in a kindergarten class. And、uh, you could have a ball with shading on something like this. As a matter of fact, you could do what the, the artist did in that lighthouse drawing.、Uh, maybe Trace just parts of it,、uh, maybe just trace the scarecrow itself and forget about the birds, and then add some lines, you know, going through this whole entire drawing and shade the same way that the, the, the drawing that、um, had that lighthouse in it 
was shaded. So you could even do exactly what that what artists did, where you make the sun and then you make all the rays that come out. And there you go. You got yourself those division lines that will make your drawing very interesting. Now, if you're going to do something like this, of course, you're going to have to trace the drawing. Um, make sure that you don't press hard. Make sure that the tracing is very, very light. And um, have a ball with it and just shade it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was uh, showing you guys examples of these artworks that uh, are based on uh, tiny children's drawings um, where... You know, there's there, there's actually a company that makes money doing stuff like this, where they're taking a child's drawing and then they're turning it into something very uh, professional looking. And I absolutely love the idea of maybe you know getting getting your younger siblings um, to do a drawing for you, and then you shade it and you make it look professional through your shading techniques. Um, here's another example that I think is absolutely, absolutely adorable. Um, <laughs> King Kong? Who could this be? Um, I don't know, but it's, it's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. The interpretation of the artist was just amazing. And then, uh, last but not least, <laughs> the piece to resistance, the fly. I love this drawing. The, the, and the shading, of course, is totally apart. Now, remember what I said earlier um, in, a, a pre, in our value and in our contrast lesson. Um, you don't have to know how to draw. And obviously, you know, whoever drew this, um, you know, doesn't necessarily have skills at drawing, I don't know what this is, a fly, a uh, an insect I don't know what this is exactly however who cares if you can shade it you can make it believable and who is there to say that you did not mean for your fly to look like this if you can shade it you can make it look awesome so I would love for you to um, to try you know your hand at doing something really cool like this uh, or, you know, just try something new. So as I was uh, saying, I wanted to show you a couple of examples. Um, there's Snowy, who's always uh, here next to me. He's sleepy. So this drawing right here is a drawing that I started years ago. I don't know how many years ago, six, seven years ago or something. And uh, unfortunately, I have a few smudges over here and uh, I need to, you know, fix those. But this started out with just some doodles, some, just some lines, nothing special. And I absolutely love the way this is coming out. It's, I really need to finish it. Um, it's, it's an embarrassment that I have not finished this. And then here's another piece, and this one I started out way up until my sound and um, what's been going on uh, with uh, the camera in this uh, particular section. I'm trying to show you the example that I began um, for this particular unit, and I'm showing you the difference between hard edges and soft edges and uh, the pencil shading that I'm doing. Um, it is uh, basically a drawing that I started using uh, just a, a few doodle lines. It took me probably a, a total of not even a minute to do all those lines. And then I just uh, shaded um, the whole entire drawing. Um, I uh, really hope that this has inspired you to create something really beautiful and uh, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and uh, have a wonderful day. See you.